Okay, so today what I want to do is to start formalizing some rendering system for, well, rendering uh, content. Because right now what I have is a very ad hoc set of systems and processes. Not really great. So, on one hand, I have the position descriptor pool, which is what takes uh, position data, position component data, and puts it into a buffer that can be read on the GPU, and then passes back to that uh, uh, component, the 3D position component here, a GPU, a graphics descriptor set handle, every frame. Um, which is not great. Like, why would the information that pertains to a specific graphics rendering backend be up front up here? Like, it, it should not be. Like, this is terrible. And I did that nearly two years ago. Ooh, okay. So that's one thing I want to uh, deal with. That should not be the case. Another part is, of course, same or similar thing to do with armatures, which generates all the matrices for the bones and makes them available for rendering. Uh, this is goes through the similar process, but this data gets put in with the render state. Again, not really too great. And then to actually put take all those bits and put them together to be used to actually be rendered uh, is the render graph, the render scene here, which for every single individual object in the render state whether or not it's going to be rendered or render or in a renderable state i call this render call which then goes through and mat you know gets uh, information from the render state and individually grabs the resource data for the vertex of scripture material the mesh looks for to make sure they're loaded looks for position data uh, down here, binds that if possible, binds the uh, the uh, armature bone descriptor content as well. Like I said, very ad hoc, not really great, and quite CPU expensive, because like, for each object, you have to reacquire all the items that you need. Not ideal. So what I want to do is I want to start like coming up with uh, an initial implementation that kind of starts moving all this into a, like a more coherent system and removes like like I said the uh, graphics specific stuff out of the render state uh, this component type as well as the same thing for the position like give it of these so that's what I want to do. And yeah, move it away from, because this is just like a random, yeah. It's just a random free-floating function. Not particularly great. So. To begin with, what I need is, yeah, I do need to create the render system. So I'm just going to create a header for that. Because I'm not, it's not going to be free-flow. So I'll just create, start creating a, like a mostly FFI compatible. Uh set of symbols so I'll leave, I'll make it HPP compatible for the moment because no doubt uh, uh, I'm gonna have some uh, leftover C++ stuff while I'm actually creating this sneaking sneaking its uh, way in. Let's close that up. Okay. Um, what I do need is handle results and not entirely sure what else I need quite yet. So, uh, fo define handle fo render system I won't put graphics into it because it's not, it's still in the bring up application for the moment. So, fo result set, let's actually create the thing. So, fo create render system. So, 
we'll create it. We'll, of course, have to destroy it. Okay. I will also have to initialize and then initialize graphics, but I won't quite do that yet. Let me actually create the source file and get Clang D starting to work on this. We got that. We'll do render. Okay. Let's get the right stuff, include the header. Great. All right. So C plus plus means it's going to be you can uh, do an uh, an anonymous namespace for the moment at least. Let me. What do I need? For the moment, I can think of at least two things. <clears throat> One thing at front. Okay, I'm not going to quite touch the position stuff yet. I should like start at the basics. So yeah, the first stage of this will be to abstract or take out the portion where I'm like matching these resources and making sure they're loaded. I can do that here nice and easy. So <clears throat> I need the resource pool. That will have to be given in. Can I is it added as part of this with the initialization? I'm not sure. I think I'll get bring it in as initialization for the moment. I th think. I think. Hmm. Okay, but regardless, I need to include both resource uh, pool like that. That'll bring that in. Great. Next, <clears throat> I need the render state pool. That's also going that's going to be local, I think, render state pool like that. And at the moment, so what's going to have to happen is when objects are added or modified, rather than I if I don't want to have like the data kind of like infiltrating back into the components, I need to have some kind of like set of structures that will be sitting in here that will be pointed to by this. So P render data, something like that, or I'm in C++, I can just do that for the moment. Let's localize to that struct render data like that. And this is going to be a number of Uh, items. Oh, and the ID. So the ID of what it is associated with. Uh, and for basically a couple of our resource uh, handles. So vertex scripter boned vertex scriptor for resource um, material mesh like that so the idea <clears throat> is that this would be like a compiled very easy to process through uh vector array that'll have all the stuff already matched up and what i will do after uh, as like the second and third stage is to move the position data into here as well as the armature data like the the descriptor set um handles basically they'll be mo uh, moved into here as well so starting off <clears throat> i still need to start off with the fact that this would have to these needed functions need to exist so creating the dang thing
So we get a foe, uh, not even a foe, it's a red. Oh, I need to do the foe to find handle cast between render system. Uh, render system. Foe render system. Like that, okay. Is there anything really required here? I mean, there's that, so... New render system. And then I need to make sure it's standard no throw. So that it won't throw an exception, but rather it'll just leave this as a null pointer and I can detect that. So if the new render system equals null pointer, and I can return, I need to include this results part of this. Doesn't look like it. So it'll be back results. Then I would return to fo result. Fo bring up error out of memory. Very nice. Otherwise, is there anything else I really need to do? No, not really. So p render system equals p new render system. Uh, to handle. Like that. Then return. Return successful, great. Otherwise, to go on the other way around, we have render system render system equals render system from the handle from the handle. And then in this case, we would just delete the render system like that. Okay. Uh, initialization on the graphics. Uh, in a in it graphics, yeah. Okay. Felt set bow initialize render system graphics. I guess. I mean, it's either that or foe initialize graphics render system. That doesn't really. Mm, that does not, neither <clears throat> neither way really rolls off the tongue well. So. I'll stick with this for the moment. So, foe, resource, pool. This is the resource pool it's grabbing its data from. Um, the render state pool. We'll, of course, have to do the opposite as well. <clears throat> Would this be... This would be a void, yeah. Go deinitialize render system graphics. Okay. Bring those in. Extern C for that, and then this. Okay, that actually brings to mind the fact that I'm going to have to be able to clear... Because I'm doing... Uh, currently, the render scene doesn't bother with incrementing or decrementing resources because I'm just using it temporarily for within this function. But if I'm going to be like connecting these on a longer-term basis, I need to increment, be able to increment, then eventually decrement them. So I need a function here to actually no, I'll, I'll kind of move it down here void clear render data which is just going to take in render data star cont e render e render data and we're just going to go through each of these so if p render data mesh is the bottom one not a null handle I need to do two things. I need to decrement the use and the ref count because I'm assuming I am assuming
am I? Yeah, yeah, because if I'm if I start, yeah, okay. If it's here, it's being both used and it's a reference count. So, oh, resource decrement use count of the resource. And then we do this for the four types. Two, three, four. Great. Uh, I won't have to do anything else. Uh, next would also be the opposite of that, of course, is I need to be able to get the render data. So uh do i do a result or boolean I'm, okay bool for the moment mm, get render data or collect i think get collect acquire i mean that's basically same as get so like let, let, let's simplify get render data fantastic i am given a resource pool to get the stuff from i have the entity that we're ID that we're collecting, adding, I think. Uh, the render state for the moment that we are being given. We're always going to have that when we're trying to add or get render data. And then the actual render data, the, the render data that we're returning out. So uh, this I can mostly actually copy from here. So let's grab these. Oh, I, but I do want to make a copy of this for the boned one. I'm not sure how exactly to handle this because I don't, at this point, I don't have enough information whether or not there there's an armature associated with it. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> So what would I do? I would have to basically do this. Or I would have to get this, do this while that. That or that. So this will be just a resource pool by itself. I don't have that information. Mm, type defs for the um, for this, and then I need to actually include vertex descriptor. Yeah. Okay. And then at the end of this, I need to go resource increment ref count of the vertex repertoire. And the use count. And I basically have to do the same thing for boned. Sorry, this is... Uh, all right, so that's that. That's literally going to become the proper one there. Boned, 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 boned. This one was a vertex descriptor and should have just been pulling out that and that. Okay. And then we get the simpler ones of the material and mesh. So that, 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 
Uh, I need to do this for incrementing the stuff. Now, at the moment, I'm always assuming I've found it, but I really shouldn't. Faux material. Faux mesh, okay. Mesh. Material mesh. Okay, <clears throat> now I need to do... So at this point, I'm always, I'm assuming everything's going to be there. I really need to do. Right now, I'm assuming that all the render state is always properly fill, fully filled out, and that the resources are findable. Otherwise, it would just be in an in an infinite loop, which is bad. But for testing, for 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 the bring up, uh, I'm going to just roll with it. So the outgoing pointer thing equals this. So this is just always return true, right? Ooh, that's dangerous. Um, so don't return anything quite yet. Uh, dot entity equals entity. T, there we go. Okay. So that's a nice little closed loop system, hopefully. Then we get down to the point where we actually want to use the dang thing. Or, oh, no, there'll be one more thing as well. After initialize, initialize, deinitialize, and then of course, pro result set, um, pro process. Not entirely sure how this would happen yet. But, okay, yeah, initialize. Um, start with the handle or the pointer to the actual object. Hmm. So, I, of course, I need some checks. I need to make sure that if resource pool handle. Or I don't actually have a good return case for that quite yet, so I'll do that. Uh, set external data, which will be P render system. Resource pool is going to equal resource pool and p render system the render state pool is going to equal the render state pool. Then I'm going to do a bunch of stuff and then return to go bring up success. So after that, what I need to do is I need to go through the given pools, or rather the git just the given render state pool, and I need to find all um, usable data sets, I guess, and generate data for that. So what I'm thinking of is, this is probably, what's probably going to happen is this system is going to maintain a one-to-one, -one, not a one-to-one, -one, but at least for usable data, a, a compact list, a contiguous compacted list of render data, 
one to one with what is usable. And it will also be in order to keep things nice and easy so that if I need to delve into this in the future, I mean, I could do pointers. But I'm thinking more like if I want to process it, it's better if I just iterate like really fast down. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. So for this initial compile initial data set. So what's going to happen is p render system. Uh, this is not a pointer. Uh, I'm going to reserve for the moment the size of. The render state pool. So I'm going to do it slightly like this because um, I'm eventually also going to have like position IDs and armature data IDs or something like that. So it's best to be a bit more explicit here. So go ECS component pool ID pointer for render state pool. And go to the end. And render state ID pool, which is size plus that. Okay. And the, the render, am I going to iterate this as well at the same time? I think I will. Po entity, uh, sorry, not po entity. R mm, render state. That equals data pointer of the render state pool. And I need to cast it for uh, I'm not going to uh, start things p render state id not equal p end render state id plus p render state id plus p render state data will be aligned for each of these equals that it equals it's blanked out well does it doesn't matter no it doesn't actually matter not yet anyways get render data so this is going to be passing in passing through the resource pool uh we've got the entity which is star p render state id I need to const that. And then p render system. Oh, I need to. It's, no, I, I'll, I would clear it elsewhere. I think render data. I'll assume it starts. Yeah, dot in place back. Uh, new data set. Okay, so I do all that. I'm clear, whatever. Um, initial uh, deinitialization is kind of do here external e render e render state pool equals flow null handle.
And I would also have to go around and clear all of these. So four, auto, cost and um, data set, which is render system, render data, go through all of them, and we just clear render data, which is we're passing in the and data set. Or is it literally like, no, maybe, no. How this lose const? Ah. Um. Data sets. Decompile data sets is what I'm going to call it. We do that, we leave, whatever. That will leave. Um, I'm not actually removing or adding data right now. So do I want to do that? Not quite yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a function that allows me. I want. I want to make sure that this is a, that this part at least is going to work. So I need to add it to this first. First off, so whoop, uh, include include that. I'm going to add render system to the end of this. It's going to be, give me another like little look at like how good it is or bad is this. So this looks pretty bad. Straight up. Destroy selection. If selection is an old pointer or we've selected this to be destroyed here, I need a type here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. grab that. So that's going in here. That's going in here. This is going to be one, two, three for render system. It's going to be that. Uh, we're not deleting it. Not via that. We do a foe destroy render system which takes in the render system like that okay uh, when we create so it'll be one of the last things down here there's the one for the animation system one Two, 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 three, uh, ba, ba, ba. render system. Okay, how do I actually create the thing? I have this here, that's not going to work. So, if null pointer, so I need to do if. Result equals create render system and create info dot p system. Set this a uh, void start star. Yeah. Okay, if result dot value, yeah, I can just return that straight up. Uh, 
if that failed, that means that was never put in. This is whatever it is. Um, otherwise, if I failed to insert it, then I need to go through with both. Destroy, render system. Create info.p system. I go through this. Okay. Okay. Uh, Deinitialization. Uh, I don't have that. I do have it for graphics, though. This is initialize. And here. Render system, render system, file render system. Oh, uh, de-initialize, render system graphics, render system. Very nice, that's not a pointer. Render system, graphics, for render system, render system, render system, okay. And then on the initialization side. Render system, render system, or render system. We got that, that means result equals Yeah, how would I Okay, I need to collect a few things to do make this happen, but oh initialize. Render system P simulation resource pool and the render state pool which will be can I please deinitialize position pool there you are a render state pool Okay. So that should be okay. I mean, it won't do anything right now. And I don't have a process for it either. But I just want to make sure it's actually going to uh, uh, go through. So let's see. Wonderful. Okay. So that's pretty okay. That's a good, that's a great start. Ah, uh, what was it going to do? Process? Well, no. Was it going to be processing? I don't think it was going to be processing. It was going to be... Can I actually use this over here on the for actual render scene, which is going to require me to export this temporarily, which means this can't be here. This needs to be we'll kind of put it like here. Put it there. I'll have a standard vector. Const and return. Get render set data set 
from the render system. Need to include that render system that gonna make this down here or rather return that okay so I want to pass it to the surrender scene uh, which means I need to find where I actually call this at the moment. Call it, not it. Well, I, I will need to do this, won't I? Or will I? No, I can grab the system out of here directly, right? I do have simulation provided into here. Because, yes, yes, yes. Sir. Okay. Yes. Render data sets equals. So that's getting the render state pool. I just need to pull out the render system instead. Get render data sets from the render. Okay, I want to assert that the number of render data sets is <clears throat> actually no. I want to assert that the render data set. Okay, so I'm also going to. Mm, I need to do two of them. But the number of render data sets is equal to the number of this minus PID. I want those to be match, and I want to make sure that the render data sets dot um, data set iterator equals. Uh, no, 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 no. That. I want to make sure this entity equals star PID. I want to make sure that these are completely equal. And then, what's going to be happening up here is we've got render state and then we'll have oh or render state under data set that's going to pass in and we're also going to implement the data set like that okay Rolling into here, about here, after... Okay, so that's actually one thing that I haven't done, is this isn't doing loading. This isn't doing loading. This is just making sure that the I've found it and I've added it. I haven't actually requested it to be loaded yet. That's a bit of a not great. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to assert that the data set equals vertex descriptor or the data set bone equals vertex descriptor because in here the vertex descriptor can be either it's overridden up here based on the, the flag of if it has a bone descriptor and actually has data inside on the GPU. Otherwise, the other two are pretty simple. Make sure that, and make sure mesh equals mesh. Let's give that a go. Oh, and then I need to actually pass in... No, yeah, because I already 
It's already there. It's inside. It's all internal. Amazing. Amazing. Hmm. So now what I would want to try to do, I want to try a little experiment. I want to see if I can get a, can get an appreciable uh, improvement in time via this. What because what I want to do is I just want to like put in a whole bunch of render uh, states, and I want to I want to see the actual like data change from like when I do this matching down to not. Down to pre-compiled data, basically. So I need to basically make a whole bunch of copies of these guys. Let me make a little script. It can't be in here because this is going to be reading YAML, all the files in there. Or uh, okay, I need to. What? Three, two, ten. Let's say. I in that. Do something done. And then what I want to do is I want to echo a few things. First off, I mean, yeah, these can all. Okay. I think. Echo into I like YAML. Does this does it have to be read? I don't think the, the name of it actually matters. It's what's inside of it. So this render mesh B. I'm not going to add armature state. I'm just adding this stuff. So it's just going to be a whole bunch of these all together. And this is going to be. I, this will be basically all that. That's great. Let's add a new line just to be safe. And let's add that as well. So if I go to data, bring up uh, the data B, make it executable, run that. I get a bunch of extra files in the wrong directory. Entities slash that. Okay. Let me see if that does as I expect. It looks like there'll be these guys back here. Maybe? I'm not sure. Let me, um, no, no, they're not here at all. So it didn't actually load them. That is cool. Cool. The data B just has, huh. Okay, uh, the entity index, which goes up to zero X, oh, 10. That's not gonna work well, is it? Hmm. How do I do hex and bash? Mm -mm. Hex equals uh, printf percent x, right? Of whatever the value is, so i. Do that create which takes me to a okay right so if i go up to 16 it'll take me to 10 yeah okay 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 that's that x sorry no this will be zero x x like that oh and then 
for zero x x and then I want to make sure I go up to zero eleven and actually change this to not do that. Blam. Cool. That's up to 11. There's no recycled. So let's try. Let's see what this does. Hmm? Interesting list. There we go. There they are. So. To test this, I need to do two things. First off, I need to I need to add a timer around process around the rendering of this, which I believe is actually hiding inside of another function, right? Render stuff is inside of this job function. Yeah, okay. Oh, chrono, easy clock. Give me that old-fashioned easy clock from way back in the day. What I want to do is I want to compare. Today clock, high-res clock. Clock dot um, update, and then, then I want to update after I've gone through this. And then I want a standard C or um, O log O bring up O log level verbose whatever. And I only want to do this like every if. If frame. Uh, that divided by like, let's say a thousand. Only every 1,000 frames I care about this message. I don't want to spam myself and slow everything else down too badly. So I'll have enough time to recover and get into the fast loop. Time taken is... Clock dot... Elapsed. Milliseconds. It should be basically zero, I imagine, for the moment. Right. Make sure the frame actually increments. So that'll be basically zero. That is actually taking way too much time. Um, once a second. That is about 60 frames a second, supposedly. Zero. So let's go wild. Let's say there's 512 of these things, yeah? Okay, I want to make sure that I'm at least going to save this. In case I screw things up. And then this needs to go up to... I don't know what it goes up to. Show me. Or actually tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What is... What is the last hex? Tell me. 200. Yeah, that makes sense. That does actually make sense. 0 by 200. That was what... 
512 items. Let's go. Uh, this is also in debug mode, so it's going to be slower than normal. Ah, it's not even going to actually work. Quad word. Okay, cool, cool. What does bullet have to do with this? I don't understand. I don't get it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this for the moment because I don't actually care about this. Wow, this is just import position 3D. Okay, this was this is where it was allocated. That's great. What happened here? Simulator. Use after free in the position descriptor pool. Okay. Do I, did I put like an upper limit on these things? Wait. No, there's a thousand. It's a thousand of these guys, so that should be. F oh, but a thousand times three, right? Maybe, or are they they're all reset, aren't they? Yeah, they are all reset. Right, well, I found a problem. I'm in here. I go in here. This is, for some reason, not existing. I, I'm going to keep use after free. Why? It's not like I'm modifying anything at this point. Let's let's uh, cut that in half. Let's say it's only two hundred and fifty six, shall we? Sixteen. Why? Uh, there's 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 six okay there's six objects no it's still right it's tr still trying to go through everything <laughs> Why do I not have the log? Hmm? Give it to me. Give it to what's what's going on now. Hmm? Cool. This is the count. 515. So we do have all 515 objects here. Why is it so... Why did it not pick it up? Pick them up before? Or did it pick them all up and... I don't know. 
Oh, no, doing it individually? That was a mistake. Okay, so those are gone. Uh, let's do this up uh, to, what was it? Create. I was going to go to, uh, down to like 16. Let's start with 8. Let's see about when this decides to start happening. Actually, no, let me actually go even simpler. I just don't even care about this. I'm just going to do position 3D for the moment. So I'm going to like, um, yeah, just put that out. Create uh, down to eight and then make sure that's not going to crash. That's great, right? That's great. Um, <laughs> Let's do that. Let's not do this count thing anymore. And put the render uh, physics back on. That's great. No time taken. Fantastic. Up to 16. Which takes us to 10. Okay, so once we get up to 16, that's when things start breaking down. Curious, curious, curious. Let's reset that, back down to that, run that. Okay. Nine. So eight is the limiting. Sorry, not nine. Um, zero by A. Literally is eight. Or is it? Or is it just something that happens sometimes? No, it very much appears to be I go up to nine, and then it's a guaranteed fail. Okay. Okay. This is very strange. Is it like something where I'm processing these things? I'm trying to add an object. No, because I definitely like if. No, I'm trying to access something that used to exist, but it's moved on. Very clearly. So it's definitely add object GLM to BT transform. It's definitely right here. Okay. Let's have a look at this. No.
Why would this be deleted? Process add object. This is very strange. Okay, I need to take I need to like debug this for sure. Okay, let's <sighs> What is, okay, let me uh, go back to, did I reset, I reset up the physics, right, right, right. What's going on here? Process, add object, and it's specifically on the position. It believes that it has been freed. Where would it have been freed? It would have been freed around here when it was doing the insert pass. Okay. Why? Hmm, is this, hmm. During create, on registration. Okay, let's step through this and, and have a look at it, shall we? Uh, so this is on position, yes, let's go inside. Amazing. Let's go to insert pass, which will take us to so it's being destroyed around here for some reason. So let's go down here. What do we have for two insert offsets? We have 16, 17. Four, six, five. Nine, not. There's duplicates. Why are there duplicates? And there are higher number ones, so it would have been, um, interesting. Oh, okay. I'm pending. That's why. Okay. So that's not great, but. Regardless, that's unearth some problem where, like, when there are duplicates, I'm either destroying things I shouldn't be, or, um, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. What's probably happening is, let me cancel that. When I go through unique last, I'm going through these items, and I'm just moving things around but those things and then afterwards i'm going through like okay to, from the new end to the actual end destroy those things but some of those things may have been shifted to the left so it would still exist but because of this it would have been considered skipped and then the destructor called so that's this isn't going to work this is probably the exact same this is um the problem point and this doesn't have any I don't have any ability to hook this in to properly destroy things. So because it's shifting things around. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this a different way. Auto, new inserts, erase. Okay. As long as something is sorted, that's what matters at this point. Okay, we do that. Sort data to insert, we do that. And what I'll do is like, I'll keep it all in memory or I'll keep them, or, um, the list, the vector as it is, just make sure it's sorted. And then rather than do like the, um, the unique, so I don't even need this anymore. Rather than doing the unique and then moving things around and then shortening it again, what if, as long as I do the two insert count, I can do that all here. I already have a mechanism that allows me to skip things later on through this.
So what I want to do is if first I check if there is a next item and it matches, then this item is set as foe invalid ID, so it's skipped and move on. Yeah. So auto next insert equals p insert plus one. And I want to make sure next insert is not equal to p insert end. p next insert. Da, 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 da. Make sure that. If that's the case. No, that and p insert entity equals p next insert entity then i want to go through the process where i say hey this object is invalidated i nullify i nullify it i dis, um, destruct i increment p insert and then i continue so i have a thing saying in here um Entity has the same ID. Skip this one. We always want to use the last one. Last one. Just that. Okay. F5, run. Uh, skip that. Skip that. We're good. Okay. First try. Not here, here. Okay. Now, can I move this... I want to, um, I haven't inserted anything yet, so what I want to do is I uh, like, if that, I want to do the structure here, like as I'm going through the entire array at once. So that I can capture both this case and that case together. That case, that case, and then put this down to here and continue. There's a destructor, call it great. Um, so by the end of this, either everything's been destructed or moved. And then down here at the bottom, I want, okay, I need this. It's a whole lot of stuff. I want to move... <clears throat> I'll leave these here for the moment, actually. I'll just keep it like this for the moment. Okay, but I need to make sure that it's at least doing what I think it's supposed to be doing. Which is, it seems to be doing so. Let me... Uh, back to here. Call build foe. Make sure that there's no extra objects leaked, which is correct. Great. Put that there. <clears throat> so now I want to go back to this and re-add the uh, re the um, rendering stuff, which is this render state. Do that, create and recreate these. Mm. 
Okay, nice. Takes no time at all. And I'm only measuring the time it takes to do the CPU processing, which is exactly what I want. So let's do, what was it, 128. Up to 80. Let's do 256. I'm just what I'm just going until I actually find like it has to reach at least a millisecond. Eventually, right? 20, 256. Uh 1020. No, let's not do 1024. Let's just do a thousand. Because uh, the position uh system only handles up to a thousand right now. Okay. Um, hmm, 1024 times 16, 16, let's do that. Like, let's just go, let's just go wild. About 8,000, 8, 8192, show me. Oh, actually, no. First, I need to create them. Just give a moment for the SSD to do that. And let's uh, shrink that down. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, that needs... I mean, that's because it's outputting, right? Okay. 14 milliseconds. So if I ha if I uh, do that to half, it should be about 8. Uh, should be a bit better. Or I could just hmm, add that. Shrink all that. Down to... 4096, let's do that. Nope. Nope, oh, crap, yeah. Not happening. Um Ah, I got it in a bad state. Dang it. Okay. Let me restart. Okay. Let's do that again. Seven milliseconds. That's great. Seven, six, seven milliseconds. Now I want to see if I can get a real improvement by not having to do at least some bits. So we're starting at in render scene. Around here, let me get rid of uh, this and this. Oh, I'm in debug mode as well. Let me... Um, Go into release mode for this, so I can actually get a real idea. As to what... As to what I'm doing here, that, 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 that. Got the asserts here. And I gotta turn off the uh, address sanitizer and a bunch of things. Right. <clears throat> Release. Let's turn off code coverage. Let's turn off address sanitizer. Let's build that BRB when that's done. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. Uh, it takes a millisecond. That's not really 
useful enough. So I need to really crank that up again. 8192. Get rid of that. Let's see the data ring up the data B. 38. Create a, create a new one down here. One, two, three. Build, bow, bring up, go, 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 go. Four to three. Come on, I could do better than that. Uh, let's do 1024 by 16 is 16384. Let me uh, crank up the position to be able to handle that. Seventeen and seventeen, great. File that and roll it three four milliseconds down to two. That's not enough. I need more. I need more. Thirty-three. So what? I need the. 10.4 by 32, it will be 32.768. So let's go all the way up here. 32.768. So we're going to like process 32,768 of these in. I mean, that's actually pretty dang good too. The fact that I'm doing 32,000 individual objects in a millisecond or two milliseconds. Even doing all of that mat, all of that matching. And it's only like three to four milliseconds. Ooh. Wow. Actually, yeah. Even if it's the same object, because it's rolling through the same thing. Oh, yeah. And there's not many in the way, much in the way of resources. So the uh, search area <clears throat> for the resources is pretty slim, too, at the moment. So there's a number of items that are helping it, but still, like, I, I like it. Okay, this is going to kill my SSD. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, let's go. Segfault. <laughs> Too much. Uh, let's do 24,000 instead, shall we? Do that one, clear all the others. And we'll recreate them and then we'll rerun. Obviously, I probably should have started stressing, uh, stress testing uh, this stuff a bit earlier, but it'll get done eventually. Let me just delete all these files. Twenty-four thousand. That's also enough to cause a seg fault. Is it like this times twenty-five? Like, does it just not support pools quite that big? Or is just something else somewhere? Is just. Uh, that could have been it. Okay, eight milliseconds. I'll work with it. Whatever. Cool. Eight, nine milliseconds is what I saw. Eight, nine milliseconds. So I want to see if I do this, is this like uh, even just slightly better realistically? So let's not even... <clears throat> let's just kind of close these. Let's open that up. 
So we're getting the render system that's actually from here instead. Uh, this. Let's render data set start size. That not equal to the end. Uh, I'm just increasing this. Okay. I know that they were matching anyway, so this becomes T data set and T. This becomes null pointer. This becomes the data set. We roll all the way back up. P render state becomes this. Hmm. Right. This equals P data set vertex. This becomes P data set material mesh. If P data set. I still need a P render state for this. Okay. So. I still do need to iterate through this. So that's not quite as easy as I was hoping for that. So we'll still have that. I'll still do that. If that, then vertex descriptor will equal p data set uh, bone vertex descriptor. Otherwise, there is no else. We're also not doing this or doing that. And I just want to see like if that's enough. make any sort of real difference, which I doubt. Uh, but it, it, it does. It actually makes a... from 8 to 9 to 5 to 6, typically. So that's almost a halving. That's like, what, maybe 30, 40% faster? Or reduction? That's nice. So I can really... Yeah. If I can move the load state stuff out of here as well, then that's an even larger improvement. So let's see if I can do that. Uh, right. How would this work? How would this work? Or, hmm. You know what? I'll leave it here for this session, and I'll carry on in the next one to actually kind of start doing that, some of that optimization and more check work, such as uh, dealing with the loading state. This is already looking great. If I can, if I so, if I can actually remove, uh, you know, the last vestiges of the render state, which is literally the bone descriptor set, which is attached there. That's one last thing I have to iterate through or with. Um, all right. So next. Um, what I next should be the pro the system processing. So I already have like part of the initialize. I compile the initial set of render data uh, render state components that are that are there and usable. And on deinitialize, I clear them out. What I need to do is I need to have a process function. I already have it here, right? Yeah, process render system. And I need to actually do it. 
so that it can respond to changes where like um, render states are being are being removed or added or being modified. So extern C uh, uh, process render system. Uh, of course, first of all, I need to get the pointer to the actual thing. Then uh, let's do render state removals. So what's going to happen here is basically almost this. What's going to happen? We have that p um, render state ID. That kind of it. I mean, I don't actually care. Okay, uh, remove ID pointer, removed. I don't actually need the state data itself. I'm just, I just need to know that it has been removed, don't I? So I'll take p render system that. Those two, and then I need to go auto render data data set iterator equals p render system render data. We're just gonna go iterate up through. So four. I already have it. I think I, I could put that up. Am I using it afterwards? I don't think so. So I, I'll do that. Uh, keep going while p render state ID not equal p end render state ID. And uh, data set iterator not equal to p render system render data dot end. Oh, dot begin. And then I need to plus plus right plus plus anything plus plus p render state id I guess to do that or yeah uh so while star p render state id is greater than render our data set greater than Entity. I want to increase data set iterator. I need to do a check if this is the end, then I need to break out. Or, no, I need to break out of both of these loops. So, I'm going to need something where I just, like... Mm, go to this point. Instead. Go do that. Okay. Otherwise, we do that. If... Star p render state id equals render um, data set iterator empty. Then I want to remove or I want to clear the render data for the current item. So just and of pointer and then uh, Dataset iterator equals p render system render data dot erase this one. Okay, that should be removals. Then I need to check for insertions. Just basically this again.
Hmm. So we got these. Would I be doing? No, I would be doing uh, offsets for insertions. So I got that P start understate ID equals this. Okay. Size T con star P offset. Inserted offset pointer. Okay, and then we'll have the auto, you know, I'm going to rename this to be like render data set iterator. Let's keep trying to type it out like that. <clears throat> that equals P, the render data as it stands right now, dot begin. Wait, hold on. Let me take, no, make sure while that. Yeah, okay. Four. Uh, nothing. P offset not equal P end offset. Plus P offset. We're going to iterate through all the inserted items. So, oh, empty ID equals uh, star of P star to understate ID star of this plus P, uh, star P offset. Then I need to do po render state star P state equals no i wouldn't need this would i no i would need const star p start render state data don't do that. Data pointer. This is this. Like that. This becomes star that that plus star p offset. There we go. Hmm. The const, const data, const data, yeah, I understand. Const render state to... Oh. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> My bad. My bad. So then, at this point... This is something that has... I've already removed it, so it should never actually be here. So then I just should be able to do this. These two. And then place it not on the back, but wherever I am currently sitting right now. So we do that. P or um, entity. P render state data. P render system with the resource pool. Okay, that's not a pointer. We fill out the data, and then we say, hey, um, this is still void. Hmm. 
this isn't quite correct. Uh, but I'll have it. So what I hmm. while render data set iterator is not equal to the end of it. And render data set iterator entity is less than the entity. Just set that as const. Then I need to increment render data set iterator. And then Once that's brought up to either the end or the location where I want to insert it, then I just insert. So render data set iterator equals the vendor system render data dot insert uh, at this location the value, which is new data set. So in this data set iterator, new data set. <laughs> Sorry, if this is the end, then end processing entirely. Because I can't do this then. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything else. So that deals with removals and insertions of render states for the moment. Turn to faux result of faux bring up success. Great. I need to add this to be uh, processed. How would I do this? It would have to be in the application, wouldn't it? Like, not quite here. But up here somewhere. Around here. Uh, armature of physics, and then I'll just kind of put it here. So... Oh, process render system. Which is going to be this... The moment oh bring up oh render system get rid of the pointer Hmm. Do I just not have... I may just not have it. Mm, yeah. So the pro have that processed. Great. So first of all, actually make sure that it wasn't being processed. Then make sure it's being processed. Mm -hmm. Great. And then let's make sure that with this, it is. Okay, that's uh, looking a lot better. Oh, it's looking okay. Oh, and I need to actually deal with... Uh, items... I need to deal with the uh, awaiting items.
wherever they are. Or would it be some other, like, maintenance? Hmm. Yeah, okay. So what I need now is a standard vector of foe entity ID. Ooh, yeah, what if it was something that was awaiting? I don't know how to do that then. Yes, I do. Um, so I need two things, I think, actually. Standard vector uh, for resource. Because what's going to have to happen is, unlike earlier, like here where I could always just, if I loaded something and then I reach a frame where it was, I reach the next frame and then I try to see if I can use it and it was unloaded by some other system for some reason, between the time it was load, requested to the loading, it was loaded and I started to use it, you know, no biggie, I'll just go through this loading process again. But I don't want to do that here. I want to be able to, if I'm if I if I want it, I want to request its load, and I want to have some kind of chain of custody of like I am intending to use this still. So that actually re so that it remains load so it loads and remains loaded, until. I can process it saying you know, uh, basically right about here. This does mean I'm going to have to add some items here for insertions to double check. Because something could be removed and also re-added on the same maintenance cycle, which isn't great, but it's kind of something I have to deal with. So what's going to happen instead is... I'm going to increment the reference count and I'm going to increment the use no matter what here. For the vertex descriptor, the bone and the material and the mesh. Then what's going to happen here is I'm going to determine what I'm going to keep. Like if something needs to be loaded. Yeah, actually, what do I keep? On hand. Okay, maybe. <sighs> hmm. Maybe I want to keep this and pass it back and and save that as the entities waiting loading. Okay, let me actually do some. Let me do some other kind of uh, thing, which is like boolean check load state of uh, render data set. And this is where I would be doing this kind of thing, where I say like, you know, boolean loaded equals, or rather I'd want to probably do load state instead. Mm -hmm. This will start off with foe resource uh, state loaded. That's great. Then I want to go through. If something like this, I want to go through them individually. So I check, hey, are you loaded? If it's unloaded, if it's unloaded and that, okay, hmm.
if load state not equal foe resource load state loaded I get the load state or um of this and if it's not loaded then what I want to do is if it's this or that the point is it's not loaded um fully loaded equals true bool fully loaded yes this means it's not fully loaded so then I go through, if it's unloaded and it's not loading, then I say, hey, I want to load it, please. Oh, ID of that. That. ID to string. For these things, uh, this is go oh, bring up. I need to include log. <clears throat> okay, so that's one. I just need to repeat it two, three, four. Return, fully loaded. Because something I want to do is I need to keep all of these items loaded. So I need to pass, I need to save the entire data set to this instead. Because I can't play, I can't afford to play musical chairs where like, oh, well, I loaded everything but one, so I'll request lo loading of that one. I lose custody of the other things, or I lose chain of, would it be custody? I lose the um, reference and use counts of the items, the other items, and by the time the fourth one loads, the one of the other ones may have unloaded for some reason. So I need to like say, I need this to be loaded in addition to these other guys that are already loaded, because I... This render state needs all of it. Okay, so uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. resource get state. That's great. Load state, great. Okay, no, that's not great because I need to go to the bold vertex descriptor. This, this, this. So that means I'm not going to be doing this. I just need this. This, 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 and this. What I also need to do is I need to I need to have like a state if, in case it failed. Because if one of these fail to load, that means like this entire object will never be rendered because the thing I need to render or yeah, the thing I need, something I need to render it doesn't exist. And I tried to and it, it's gone. It just doesn't exist. So I can't render this. So just stop trying. So that means I do want to do load state. Loaded. Let's do that. If it's unloaded and that, then load. Else if
overall load state. If load state equals uh, failed. Mm, then I need to say overall load state equals that. Else it's just unloaded or possibly loading. This object isn't happening. If overall load state equals loaded or overall load state equals unloaded sorry loaded then i want to set it to equals unloaded then i want to see like if it's unloaded and like there's only three load states right Unloaded, loading, loaded, and failed for the moment. So I should probably keep this. Uh, if I, yeah, if it's just unloaded or loading state. Set that to unloaded. Wait, no, no. No, only if it's loaded do I want to set it to loaded, unloaded. Because otherwise it's already unloaded. Or it's failed. So I only want to uh, over override the loaded state. Yes. Then I do this. So. One. Two. Three. Four. Do, 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 do. So this becomes bone vertex descriptor. Boned, boned, boned. This becomes material. Material, material, material. And then the, this becomes mesh. Mesh, mesh, mesh. Then I need to return overall load state. So what's going to happen now is when I process the render system and clear on insertion, if I try to add it, I do this and then I say, hey, you know, um, resource load state. Check load state of new data set. If load state equals loaded, then we do this. Otherwise, Else if load state equals um, 
load, uh, unloaded. In that case, I want to add it to the entities awaiting loading. Wherever this was a moment ago. Here, yeah. Add that to the end, okay? And I kind of want to do the same thing up here. Where instead of that more complex thing, it becomes this. Something wasn't loaded. Something is loading. Otherwise, I need to go for else. Um, Some required resource failed to load. In that case, what needs to happen instead is I just need to clear render data, new data set, and then I'm done. And I need to do the same thing down here. Some required resources still loading, that's great. Otherwise, we go through to here. So something that's going to happen here, inside of the process, every, th every time. Oh, and yeah, when we deinitialize, I need to clear these guys out as well. that and then now we're here so what I need to do is process I need to process those that were already awaiting okay I'll just do that as first thing right what's going to happen is Data sets equals new. Uh, I need a new data sets equals this standard move of the key render. So I'm going to empty out what's already there. So it becomes render data. Awaiting loading. That becomes that, and then I need to go through them. I need, I need to sort it too, wouldn't I? Standard sort. And it would be sorted based on... Um, turn a entity is less than B entity like that.
I don't. In um, algorithm. Mm -hmm. That looks to be working okay. So I sort the data sets to be in order, and then I just do the same thing as before. However, I would still need to know I would need the iterators initialize from about here because I need to rematch things up. I need to make sure that it that the items that I have been awaiting on still exist and they are still correct like they may may have been modified since uh we last looked at it so yeah i need, need to be prepared for those cases so, your render state data starts at the beginning there. That's great. So those are sorted. Now I need to go through four. Go through all the data sets. Data sets. Like this. If star p render state id is less than data sets no it'd be a while isn't it while p render state id not equal to the end render state id and No, I need to do this a little bit differently. This equals data sets dot begin. Data set iterator not equal data sets dot end. Data data set iterator. This would have to be outside of it as well, because I'm going to process what I can, and then afterwards what's going to happen is everything that I can't process, I'm going to clear. So while p render state not equal to end, and uh, star p render state iterator id is less than data set iterator entity. I'm going to increment p render state id I'm going to do no because so what I want to do is I want to go to here uh which I'm going to call and awaiting resource processing. What's going to happen here is that while for, okay, for comma or col, semicolon this, for what it wasn't processed above, I need to clear the render data. And then this will be automatically cleared. 
and what have you. Otherwise, what's going to happen here? While this, if that becomes the case, then I need to go to here. I need to skip out of both of these two loops. So this in this keeps increasing until we reach at least this entity. Otherwise, and then it breaks out of here. And then we're at this point where we want to see if e render state ID equals or rather not equals this. Um, then that means it's no longer whatever we were trying to load is no longer here. So at this point, we can just uh, clear it and continue. Whatever we were loading is no longer in the render state component pool. Continue. Otherwise, for the rest of this, what we're going to do is we're going to add it into... So I need to find... A... <laughs> I need to find the place in the actual pool to do it. Um, auto um, equals p render system. Render data dot begin. That's going to be possibly modified, so I need to equals standard lower bound between render data iterator and the end. Which is going to require A lambda that checks return a dot entity is less than b dot entity. Oh, and I'm looking for what am I looking for? This, right? The value and the comparator iterator. Or is this supposed to be going the other way around? There we go. No, we don't go. What's going on? Conversion, candidate, boolean, const. No known conversion from render data set to const entity ID. Okay, so it is the other way around. So it's that way.
that way, I think. Anyways, whatever the point is. Wherever that lands, then I want to insert the object. Render. First of all, make sure that whatever it is, if render data iterator entity equals a waiting iterator that no hold on first of all before i do that let me make sure is it loaded uh load state if equals unloaded still loading do we just add it back onto p render system that Else if loaded, then we're adding it. Render data iterator, search for it. If render data iterator equals entity awaiting. This should be a case that should never really exist, but I'm just adding it anyways to be super ca uh, careful. If they match, then I have to clear it and move on. Clear, render data. So it's already in there, whatever it is. Hmm. Those increment at the same rate. In case it modified in the meantime, but I got to do that. Mm, this. Otherwise, else it failed. Loaded, ready to go. Failed to load, discard. Okay, so this is becoming the awaiting iterator. Hmm. This is complexity is kind of in, I mean, it's a complex system in the first place. All right. So I'll have all of it. It'll be all loaded up together there. Okay, that's good. Then we try removals. Then we try insertions.
if this already exists for whatever reason, uh, and P. New data set. Put that out. Try removals, try insertions. So we've come full circle. Oh, yeah, and the loading stuff is now here. So I should not need that here. Right? Okay, what do I still need the data, s the render state for? It's for the bone descriptor set. Ooh, okay. That's a bit of a unfortunate. So what's going to have to happen is I need to get these things matching again. Because they'll be uh, at two different rates. Ah, where to call data set not equal that. E data set. Okay, let me, um, what do I have? I have like two things, right? Just two things, right. <clears throat> do I want to go through by render state? I think I want to go through via render state. So, P, back to that. If P data set equals P end, no, P ID not equals P end ID. We're still going to iterate via that, I think. No, that doesn't make any sense. Go via this and that. We're incrementing based on this. This is the this, this is the minimal determining factor thing going on here. And then what I want to do is while p id not equal p end id and star p id is less than p data set. Uh, entity. So I want to bring this guy, this up to this. Plus plus p render state. Those are constant up now as well. Let me break out of this. Okay, no. PID should always equal if 
uh, p data set entity standard abort. Otherwise, it should be good to go. Okay. This is not going to go well. Okay, it just never happened. Cool. So, query, is it because of this or this? Like, what's the determining factor? Okay, cool, cool. So there should be, there's three items. All three items are waiting. So at this point, we're going to be sorting through the data sets. Hold on. Did I do this wrong? 58, 57. No, these are correct. 3, 57, 58. Okay. So I know how to sort. Hmm. Okay, we're good. We're still in the unloaded state, so we're still we're going to re-add it. Okay. Are they still all three? No. Okay. First time through, obviously not there. Second time through, only one thing there. Or number three. The other two are just gone. Okay. Added it, we leave. Next. So now we're on the second item. Five seven. Okay. We increment that. Sorry, yeah. If it yeah, okay, that's one thing. Only exit out if we've actually entered the end. Yeah. So that wasn't too great. I presume this time we're going to be doing the same thing. So we've found it this time, 57, 57. It's a little unloaded, so we're going to go through this process again, again. So three. So I'm just going to keep going until this or this happens. So it's going to do, this is what's going to happen. It's going to go here. Oh, I never actually added it. Wow. I checked for this and then I was supposed to add it in this location. So P render system insert at the render data iterator position. Star awaiting iterator. And then it increments and moves on. Correct. There we go. Okay. Now let's get rid of this from here.
So this uh, shouldn't matter. Hmm. And then we get down to the rest of this. So... At this point, what I'm going to do... So this is a fair amount of stuff. I need to, I, I need to think on this overnight. Like, um... I'm pretty, I'm mo somewhat okay with like the entirety of this. Like I don't like, I need to figure out some way to deal with the repetitive nature of these kinds of things. But <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with the transferring a mo of a fair amount of like uh, CPU intensive wor uh, work that was happening on each item, each frame from here to doing it like one time when it's being inserted or a couple times when it's being inserted if it needs to wait for something to load. So, if, oh, um over a few frames, but this is a lot better than that. So I'll, I'll try to settle on this exactly. And then next time I'm going to work on moving the position data and the armature data out of the components and those other systems into this in a more uh, obvious, cohesive fashion. Then trying to continually uh, look for every frame. So until then, cheers.